Hey everyone, so you might have been wondering why yesterday everyone on crypto Twitter was getting very excited about pizzas. And you might have also noticed that it was in fact Bitcoin Pizza Day. So I thought I'd just give you a little bit of background as to what Bitcoin Pizza Day is all about, because if it's the first time you encountered it, it may seem a little strange. Mind you, this is crypto and we do do a lot of strange things here. Anyway, so Bitcoin Pizza Day has its origins back in May of 2010, and it's all thanks to a guy called Laszlo Hanieks. Now, Laszlo is a uh, software architect. He's based in Florida, and he was one of the earliest adopters of Bitcoin. And when he discovered Bitcoin way back in 2010, 2009, he approached it with a kind of hacker's mentality and his actual biggest contribution to the whole Bitcoin story is that he was the guy who figured out that if you used your computer's graphics processing unit, its GPU, to mine it instead of the CPU, the central processing unit, you could mine much more efficiently and much faster. And so Laszlo was basically set off the kind of Bitcoin mining arms race uh, that has led to these massive banks of computers that you see today. So it was a really vital contribution that he made to Bitcoin. Now, what this meant was, for a time, Laszlo was the most successful miner on the whole Bitcoin network. Bear, bear in mind, there weren't an awful lot of people doing it, and everyone else was using a CPU, which was much slower. So Laszlo managed to mine a whole lot of Bitcoin in a relatively short space of time, which meant he had a lot of BTC kicking around. Now, obviously, back then, BTC wasn't really worth anything much at all. It had a very, very low price and there weren't all that many use cases for it. So on the 22nd of May 2010, Laszlo was sitting at home and decided he was a bit hungry, uh, but couldn't really be bothered to make anything. So he put a message out on, a, on the Bitcoin Talk forum where he offered to pay someone 10,000 BTC if they could order some pizza for him and get it delivered to his house. And a chap called Jeremy Sturdivant took him up on the offer. Uh, so Laszlo sent Jeremy 10,000 BTC. Jeremy, then, Jeremy was based, uh, if I remember rightly, out in California at the time. Jeremy got in touch with a local pizzeria near to where Laszlo was living in Florida and arranged for them to send two pizzas over to Laszlo's house, for which Jeremy obviously paid. Now, what this basically represented was the first time that we know of that BTC was used to pay for some real world good. Uh, now, obviously, this was done slightly indirectly, but it nevertheless is a crucial moment in Bitcoin's story. Now, Laszlo is more remembered now as being Bitcoin pizza guy, because obviously 10,000 BTC at today's prices works out to somewhere around $300 million. And yeah, that is a lot of money in retrospect to pay for a pizza. However, it was such an important moment for Bitcoin because it was the first time that it was used to actually buy something. And although many people uh, have asked whether Laszlo regrets doing what he did, he says no, and uh, his greatest contribution perhaps in this regard was that he showed that BTC could be used for something. And this makes Laszlo, to my mind, one of the unsung heroes of Bitcoin's early days. And it's only fitting that we raise a slice of pizza every May the 22nd to Laszlo and his contribution. Although weirdly, I would say that he should be much better known uh, for his contribution to Bitcoin mining. But however we, uh, however we celebrate him, Laszlo, good work, buddy.